Hello, your Sagittarius. Welcome. Okay, I'm anxious to see what we have going on for you guys because I feel a little gi like giggles coming in. So let's see what's happening. What are you guys up to? <laughs> You're always up to something. Let's see. Yeah. The chariot. Okay, fast energy coming in. So this could be you moving somewhere really quick or all of a sudden going in a fast direction. Someone could be coming towards you fast. Things could be happening fast in your life, like taking off. You could also be purchasing a vehicle. Let's see. Just crossing you. I don't know why I'm shuffling again. Don't think made me shuffle. Ooh, but I'm glad I did. What a, what a nice card. So whatever you're doing, whatever's coming in real fast is making you really happy. The chariot is cancer energy. I don't think I said that. The, the sun is Leo energy. And then we have, you know what? You feel like you're very content with whatever you're doing right now. I feel like you're very happy and you're you're able to finally take a moment to breathe, if that makes sense. Because it felt like you've been moving so fast anyway. And it seems like, okay, let me take a time for you could actually meditate or do yoga or relax when it felt before. Like if you did it, it's just like you really couldn't concentrate because there's too much going on. If that makes any sense. Okay, the recent past we have, ooh, something happened. Something suddenly out of the blue happened. You might have got some kind of information you weren't expecting or some something just changed like out of the blue you could have did something that shocked everybody too this is aries scorpio energy we will uh, you know me we will clarify everything what about the justice card here that is interesting something is getting balanced out you know this is going to be karma or whatever it's going to be you know whatever's for the highest good here is going to balance out and this is libra energy Okay, coming up, you have people in your business. Oof. That's what I'm feeling like. People are just trying to... It almost feels like... Um, I feel a bit betrayal here. I feel like they're trying to say one thing when they mean something else. I think they're trying to... I almost like fool you into doing something that they want you to do by telling you they want the opposite or something like that. I don't know. It's weird. But this is like gossiping energy. This is people just getting in your business. Okay, now we have... The high, but see, you're the high priestess. This also could represent a Cancer or Virgo. But I feel here that you are all knowing. You know what's going on when they, when the person talks to you or, or these. I think it's people, because I almost feel like they're, they're like um, one person will say something to you, and then along the line somewhere else, another day or two or something, someone else will say something, and I'll be like, oh, they're almost saying the same thing because they are. They're in cahoots. So <laughs> be aware of that. But but you're aware of this because your intuition is right on at this time. So they're not going to get away with anything. They're not going to hide anything from you because you, you see all, know all. And you are coming across as a queen of wands. You are looking good and people are noticing you and they're, they're seeing you as having, being a lot of fun to be with. They enjoy your company. And you're getting a lot of attention here. This also represents uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And also the Queen of Cups here. I'm telling you, intuition. I really feel like this is your energy. Your intuition is on fire here. You're really tapping into it. And you're very loving, caring, and nurturing. And people are noticing that. Someone is thinking about you day and night. And they're stuck in their head about this. They're coming in with an offer. Page of Cups. So someone wants to offer you their love. Their cup. And it could be an apology for some. With the Page of Cups. Temperance, here's your energy. They want to be with you. Like you're real strong. You you have a very balancing, uh, calming nature. And they want to be around that. They need your calmness because they don't want this drama. Like this is like this drama coming in for you. You you cannot tolerate this. This is not your energy. You can't deal with this. And they, this person knows that. So that And they don't like this energy either. So they want to be around you who are very calming. Okay, let's see. Why do we have this chariot here for Sagittarius? Whoa! Okay, that definitely has to come. I wanted to shuffle, but it didn't want me to. Six of Pentacles. Someone's coming in to um, balance things out with you. If things were in imbalance between you and this person, or is this the universe might be presenting you with something that be more balanced maybe it's a job maybe where you worked before you were doing all this work and not getting compensated that's going to balance out something is going to come into balance and it's going to make you very happy we got the sun card now let me shuffle because that wouldn't let me okay why is the sun card here okay we have the two cups 
someone wants a partnership with you this is a soulmate connection this person you make them very happy they want to come in here um i don't know if you've been with this person before they might have just been around you and they just feel like they they feel like they glow when they're around you they feel very happy you, you lift their spirit and they're noticing the change in their energy and they want more of that they definitely want more of that let's see why do we have the seven of wands here the emperor Ooh. okay so you could be dealing with aries but i'm seeing this as you're standing out your people are noticing you're in control that's what it feels like here you're in total control and you have the power for whatever you're trying to do here you do have the power you're able to accomplish whatever you need to accomplish here okay now why do we have the tower on the reset path? what happened here can we get anything on this let's see if the universe will let us know might not but let's see ace of cups shocking news about maybe someone maybe um professing their love for you it's a, but this is a peak emotional experience and it was very shocking you experienced this um some kind of uh, really nice emotional happiness here that was very shocking huh okay I guess you guys will know if that happened or not. <laughs> that's the past. Feeling uh, a lot of love and emotion for someone or something. What about the Justice card? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's going to be balance brought into a situation when someone felt left out in the cold, abandoned, not included. Something happened. There's almost feels like this is karma um, balancing things out. So if this was like, say if this was a job situation, and you were not getting compensated. This is going to be balanced out with this card here. So things are going to come into correction here. Is what I'm getting. Alright. What about the five of swords? Fives are changes too. And so far we have the two fives here. Why is the five of swords here? The devil. Mm. As I said, there's a troublemaker up among you somewhere it might be more than one the devil someone is not too happy with i think how what you're accomplishing or what's happening here so they're trying to um mess you up here with the devil could be a capricorn that you're dealing with i do feel like it's more than one person and i think it's jealousy coming in okay why do we have the high priestess here eight of cups yeah because you're able to walk away from a situation you don't need to be in this drama some people think that they could start trouble and you're supposed to stay in there no matter what if it's family or something like that heck no if it's bad go <laughs> i don't stay where there's bad I and mean, you can't make me stay anywhere i don't want to stay i'm aquarius i'm out of here <laughs> you know i like it nice and neutral you know nice and, and easy going if you're going to start trouble just for drama no, it doesn't work with me. And that's what I feel like you're, you're doing here. You know, it's eight of cups. It's like walking away from any kind of thing because you know what's going on. You, you're aware of it. You're not buying to anybody's bull that you're supposed to stay there, whether it's family or whatever. You know you don't. Okay, Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, you put an ending to something, and I think it's, it's this drama that's coming in. You're going to put an ending to it, and you're not going to have anything to do with it. And that's going to bring you into your Queen of Wands, having fun, having a good time. And people are not going to like it, because they cannot control you. This is a, a energy of feeling this devil of trying to control. Go, go control yourself. <laughs> what about this Queen of Cups? Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're coming into some money. This is something to do at work that you're loving what you're doing. You're very in tapped into what you're doing. And it's moving you to a new direction. It's um, It feels good. It feels like you're working on something that you really enjoy working on. This is, And you're just like, I'm at peace with this. Okay, now, what about the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here? You also have three eights. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, why is the Four of Swords here? seven of wands okay this person that thinks about you 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 just top all the rest if they have to compare you to anybody you know no one can compare to you and they can't compare you to anybody because you're just one of a kind and, you, and this person thinks about you a lot because you're so different from the rest 
The Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Five of Swords. Because of this trouble, it's putting you in your head here or someone in their head. This might be connected here. This person is thinking about you. This almost feels like this is a connection that maybe you had in the past a person think about it because I think people around them maybe try to keep you away from each other or um, vice versa. Someone, this, this is the Five of Swords here twice and we have the Eight of Swords and this is like, this is all nonsense that you have to just, you know, let it go. Let them, let them go fight among themselves or do whatever they have to do among themselves. You're out of there. You don't need that. Okay, now why is a Page of Cups? And if this person, if this is this person that's thinking about you wants to come back and may they come back with a page of cups, they have to get rid of this energy too, because if they're going to stay in it, they can stay in it alone. You're not dealing with it. Okay. Let's see. Page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? We have here the king of cups. Ooh, the page of cups is actually a king of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but they're coming across maybe not feeling very secure, feeling more like a page because um, they just, I think it's just the same energy here. They put you on a pedestal. And we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. And they see you as the Queen of Wands. They see you as... Um, they're getting told the forbidden fruit. It's like you're out of their league. You're just... They just desire you. They're, this person really desires you. I feel like a, a very strong energy here. And there's other people causing conflict, trying to keep it away. Because they're probably jealous. It could be um, rivals for this person's attention. And they just see you. They only see you. And these people don't like it, so they start in trouble. They don't like this um, energy, how this person <clears throat> wants you so bad. They want to come in with apology. They want to fix things with you. This person has a very, very strong desire. I'm feeling it's so intense. They don't know what to do about it. That's why I said they think about you day and night. They compare you to these other, like, these, this seven of wands. You're, like, on top here. And these other wands here are these people starting trouble. Well, you know, whatever. <laughs> you got to do what's right for you. If this person comes along with all this nasty baggage, you're not going to have it. If they can actually put a stop to this like you do, they have to be stronger. They have to be strong like you. And then it'll all work out. Let's see what we have for what's the word. Let's see if we get anything on the people are coming up for you. Let's see. Okay, no people here. Okay, we need, bear with me, I, I I miss sometimes these, the cards are different, so we want to make sure I get the court cards only, and what? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, that, so I think the first one that I see here is this Queen of Wands. Okay, this is the first Queen of Wands. I'm pretty sure it's you, but maybe we'll get some messages for you. Let's see. We have a part sexual. I'm not surprised. Is it? Ooh. So this person may that is interesting and wants to know if it's just sexual. I think it's more than sexual. They're very attracted to you. But as you're a part here, you know, this you put an end to something here. I was thinking it's more of these people here, but then again, this person's trying to come back. You are apart from them. So, and they're going to ask you a question, maybe starting with, is it, or maybe they're thinking, is it sexual? Is it more? I think it's more, but we'll see. Let's see. The queen of cups. Why is the queen of cups here? I think it's just that they're, they want you so bad that they want to hope in that it's not just sexual, I guess. Expect freedom. Ooh. Okay, something's going to happen here. A tower. Airy Scorpio energy. Something's going to come out of the blue or something's going to happen. Here, this is, I feel movement with this eight of pentacles. So something's going to move, change, shift. I think it's a shift. And so you're going to expect some kind of freedom from something that happens. It could be at work that something shocking happens. Because this is the eight of pentacles. So, could, so that could refer to your workplace. That something's going to unexpectedly happen. I mean, we have... The tower we have expect so they're telling you to expect this shock this change and it's going to bring you freedom so don't be afraid of it is what i'm hearing don't be afraid of whatever happens here and then we have the next person is okay we have the page of cups and the king of cups so let's do the page of cups we have breakup 
truth after. Okay, so you're going to get truth about this breakup after. What happened here? Some, I bet you this is energy here. Okay, what about this King of Cups? This, this person might come forward and tell you about this because they knew about it and maybe they kept you in the dark because it might have been family or friends that did this. Okay, sincere, fear, always. Ooh, this person's in fear, but they're, they always feel sincere about you. That's what I'm getting, but they're in fear about what happened. Okay, now... Or maybe they're fearful with coming towards you. That's why they're, they are a king of cups, but they come in as a page of cups. Let's see about this queen of wands. What's the scoop on this queen of wands? Thinking. Unknown. Sincere. Hmm. Well, see, this person is confused by their feelings for you, but it's, it's far more than than feeling sexual they they have much more and it is sincere and i think they're starting to figure that out but unknown thinking sincere so something's unknown to them because they're not sure maybe they're, it's unknown they don't know how you feel but this person thinking about you i think is really seeing you as the queen of wands they're very attracted to you and they're so attracted to you that they're thinking um probably not so much with their their head as much as they are with their feelings as you know what what how it gets them excited in the side let's put it that way <laughs> okay now let's see what signs do we have to deal with here i got all the all the court cards are done okay let's see what signs could you be dealing with here sagittarius what are the signs cancer leo scorpio Sagittarius, Pisces, all the water signs, and Virgo. Okay, so we have for you, this could be placements in your chart, placements in other people's charts. We have Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Virgo. All righty. Now let's see what signs. I have what signs. What? Oh. Okay, this is past, present, or future people. Okay, now let's see what letters we have for initials. First name, last name. You have both first and last, and you get the middle. All the better. Past, present, and future people. Let's see. We have J, G, T, A, S, C, D, D, I, M, J. Okay, so your letters for today are J G T A S C D D I M J. Now for the names. Let's see what the names we got, you guys. What names we have? Eleven names, please. At least eleven. Okay, Tamika, T-A-M-I-C-K-A, -A. Mike, Uger, U-G-U-R, Bontonio, B-O-N-T-O-N-I-O, -O. Patricia, P-A-T-R-I-Z-I-A, -I -I Rose, Sergio, Lynn, L-Y-N-N, -N, Steve, Veronica, Brent and Nathaniel. So we got 12 today. Okay. So there are the names. Okay, guys. So you know how it goes. These are general readings. They're not personal reasons. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know what if it does resonate for you. Leave me comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.